Uh, so just a little update. Um, my aquaponic system is running well. Everything's doing well, doing good. Um, but I wanted to try the deep water culture. So today, I know the place is a mess, but today I built this. Um, it's just in the beginning stages. This will be the, the sump. This will be a fish tank, very similar to the other side with the clay pebble row beds. It'll be very similar. Hopefully I can get this guy finished up tomorrow. Um, and this is going to be the deep water culture. Basically the, you know, it'll be the same. You'll have water feeding out of the sump tank up into the fish tank. And from the fish tank down into this grow bed. <clears throat> it will I'll end up putting a hole down here on the end and allow the water to go right back down to the sub tank. This is all a two by four construction or a two by construction. There's two by fours, there's two by twelves, and I believe I've got two by eights. This allows for a three foot wide um float I'm gonna do uh, three foot by two foot and so this being 12 foot long that'll allow me plenty of grow space this will have a, a liner in it there'll be a, a, a rubber liner I'll, I'll put in in there tomorrow uh, fill it with water I've already leveled it but um, as far as the construction is all pretty simple there's no genius carpentry or anything. It's just, you know, the two by fours at the bottom. I, I looked at four by fours on many, many of projects. And, and as you can see, the, the deck in the background, I use four by fours. But the price of a four by four as opposed to two, two by fours that you can screw together, you can save uh, considerable amounts using the two by fours. And they're just as strong. And, uh, you screw them together and it basically creates a four by four. Um, I did get a package today and it's these grow grips. And this is what I will use. And this is kind of how the system works. You have a raft and then you have the grow grip that goes around the, uh, the seedling or the plant and it gets put down in the hole of the styrofoam float. And the styrofoam floats there will be, let's see, two foot wide, 12 foot long. There's going to be six of them. There'll be six floats going down this entire, uh, this entire bed. Uh, water will continuously be fed into it. And at the, at the far end, uh, up towards the top, I'll have a uh, bulkhead fitting with the line coming all the way back to the sump tank. And then therefore from there back up and it's a recycling system there's going to be a not a whole lot of maintenance once it's up and running uh, we have to adjust our pump a little bit you know have to get the uh the water ph right have to get the fish acclimated some some good bacteria going which i have like i said this system that's running great and uh, I've also got a goldfish pond, so I've got I've got water that is already uh, already has good cultures in it and everything else. And on this system here, it's going to be for uh, shorter stuff, more like your lettuce, um, lettuce, kale, spinach, those type of things. Not not anything real tall, because uh, if it's too tall, it'll want to tip the uh, the styrofoam float over. So bigger stuff over here. They have the clay pebbles to kind of grab roots and, and, and hold in tight. These are tomato plants. And they kind of got blowed over a little bit. We had a big storm come through yesterday, but I was able to straighten them up pretty, pretty decent. And uh, they're not needing any strings or anything yet. They probably will here soon. Um, pepper plant I transplanted this one from dirt and it's uh, it's a little bit yellow but it was actually almost all yellow just about three or four days ago um, this guy in the back he's got some uh, so I can get off in there 
He's got some pretty decent jalapenos coming on. And some more okra. Uh, these pepper plants I transplanted a few days ago and they're still kind of kind of wilty looking, but uh, they'll they'll bounce back. They're they're liking the uh, the, the fish water. And uh, same down here on the end. So on the right hand side, if I back up this way. The right hand side all the way down that is a ebb and flow or a fill and drain system using a bell siphon so it'll fill up and then drain the bed i've got mine at about once an hour to three times every two hours it's it's different beds i've got adjusted just a little bit different this one here will be a deep water culture system where the roots are in water non-stop it will not drain it'll just basically the overflow will go back to the sump tank um, I will have to put some aerators down in the uh, the liner so after I put the liner in and I get it filled and I get it attached and I, I get all my plumbing and everything else done I will have to run airlines and uh, air stones throughout the bottom of this to allow the roots to get the oxygen that they need if I don't do this, they get no oxygen, the plant's drowned. It's kind of like over, over watering a plant um, in, in your house or in your garden. If you give it too much water, it drowns and it dies. So I will update you again, probably, uh, probably tomorrow evening when I get this guy, you know, some water going on and maybe a little bit of plumbing taken care of. I probably won't put the fish in I let the water circulate for maybe about a week. Um, let the the bubblers do their thing and kind of uh, get some of the chlorine and contaminants out. So this is C and S organic. And uh, please like and share. Leave comments below. Uh, if I'm doing something wrong, let me know. I'm uh, I'm kind of experimenting with this and, and everything that I've read and I've done and I've, I've experimented with seems to be doing great. So please let me know what you think and leave your comments below. Thank you.